Many fantasy creatures have pointed ears. For instance, orcs and elves. What evolutionary benefit does this provide, and why don't we have them? I love this question. Um, my first reaction was, well, they're cute. They're so cute. Okay, but why do we find them cute? Why do we find them cute? We find them cute in part um, because mammals who were so external pinnae, which is the like technical term for ears. And obviously we have internal things that we call ears, but the external thing that we call ears, which for some reason we use the same word for, are technically called pinnae. Um, <clears throat> that's the fleshy part that you can see. That's a mammal synapomorphy. That's a shared derived characteristic of mammals <clears throat> and only mammals. And so um, you imagine, you know, a cat or a mouse or a bunny rabbit or even a giraffe. Uh, and uh, you can see them and they, you know, they flick their ears. They, what is it? The caracal that does the, whoosh, my God, the, the, just the most beautiful ear move ever with a really long tuft at the end. And, uh, but all of these animals, if you watch them um, in real time, but then especially if you watch a slow motion video of them, they're just doing interesting things with their ears that are, yes, them sensing the environment, but also therefore, if you're paying the right kind of attention to them, you can pick up on ways that they are interacting with the environment. And maybe they're communicating with them. Sometimes they're actually using their ear movements to communicate, but more often they're using their ear movements to sense the outside world, and then that can give you a sense of what it is they're doing. Um, ours are plastered against our head and not attractive. Um, you know, sorry, all you ear fetishists out there, but like, <laughs> you, know, you know, compared to a cat's ears, sorry, we just don't, we don't have it going on. And, um, and it would be adorable if we not, I don't know about the elf thing with them still plastered against the head. It seems to me that there's think, no functionality to that at all. But if they're up here and we could. If you can move them. Yeah, I, that would I be awesome. Think it's actually about aim. Um, and the, the mm -hmm. idea is the pointed ear for a creature that can pivot its ear, the ability to tune in and therefore tune out things that are adjacent sound-wise is yeah. a critical capacity. Mm -hmm. And so creatures with very acute... So for us, you know, we can point an ear by pointing our head, but you can't isolate a sound that way, um, or at least not very well. But an animal that can point one ear, you know, and swing it so it points in only that direction and therefore tunes in you know, the same way you pivot your eyes to look, you mm -hmm. know, at, at somewhere with your fovea. I, I think it, it has that function. And so why we don't have them is because we don't have the ability to move our ears separately and um, and tune into a particular sound. Um, but I think we find it cute because creatures that do have them uh are cute. You know, a fox is a very lovely creature and it has some very pointy ears. Um, and so we infer... But what... I mean, that seems circular to me. Why Why do we find them cute? Well, we find lots of things cute because they trigger... Um, yeah. I was going to say because it triggers, you know, parental uh, reflexes, but I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think, you know, they're... Yeah, I don't quite have it. Yeah, I don't quite have it either. Uh, and also, I realize that some of the examples I gave um, just have um, the pointing up ears, but they're not, like, mouse ears aren't pointy. They're rounded. Um, and, you know, rabbit ears aren't pointed. They're lo they're elongate, but they're not pointed. Uh, but I think most people would agree that they're cute, too. And they also do, Yeah, know, they do this independent movement thing um and i can't i honestly having a hard time visualizing an orc at the moment i don't remember where their ears are in their heads um elves um yeah it's it's i think that that's very unlikely to have happened actually pointed ears that are basically plastered against the side of your head unless there is some ability to do this which you know maybe that is what elves are supposed to be able to do i don't know i'm not familiar with elven lore. No, I, well, I agree with you that yeah. you don't, you shouldn't expect to see the pointedness, unless it has a separate reason for existing. The pointedness should go hand in hand with 
the ability to pivot the unless they've got like the caracal things on them and it's just a it's a it's, well, a, the caracal, it's a display in the caracal case i think it is no but elven signal. ears with a with, with oh. the with the tufts on them so they're using the points to yeah. to display their awesomeness to each other yep yeah. i agree